Simmons Plains, though on pole position is Michael Dowson on the Yamaha 250. Alongside him, Jeff McNaughton on the Honda, then Donny Osborne, the Victorian Flash on the Honda. Beside him, Tony Hinton on the Ro Rotax, then Teen Scout on the Yamaha. Craig Morris on the Yamaha, Bruce Woodley on the Yamaha Powerflow, and then the defending Australian champion, Jeffrey Sale on the Yamaha 250. Ready for a start. Hinton into the lead on 43, being followed by uh, Sluice on 29, he's edged out though, then by Dust, no, by on 18, it's uh, Donny Osman from Victoria. Oh, running very wide. Here comes Osman down the inside, can't do it on Hinton and drops back behind. Dowson's fourth on one. In front of him is Sluice, who's only just come back to motorcycle racing after an absence. And Osmond challenging on the outside. You don't do it there. Well, that, and then cuts to the inside and may do it over the bridge. Doesn't do it. A bit of a mixture of adventure and bravery there, neither of which worked. Keeping in mind cold tyres on this first lap. Well, oh, yes, that was very adventurous. Settling in a little bit better now. And as you can see, starting to make ground anyway, as they come now towards the dog, dog leg. This, a 10-lapper over the 2.62-kilometre Grand Prix circuit, so 26.2-kilometre race. Hinton takes a really shallow line there in an attempt to keep Osman out, but of course it gives Osman a better slingshot onto the straight, and now he's in the draft. And that pair, one second ahead of Dawson, now in third place, and doing a standing lap of 1 minute 23. Oh. And Osman now will be wide, and Hinton will try and get back underneath him, but doesn't make it. Osborne, so hot at the moment, is the rider of the year. Here's Dalson in third. And again, Dalson. Looks to be a little bit down on power on this pair. Last year's Castrol six-hour winner. Rev's production champion, a fallen bike further back in the field. Stationary there as they come through for the second lap. And Dowson, of course, crashed here on Friday across the bridge section, which we just saw, and has been working yesterday to get the bike back together. Jeffrey Sale now in fourth place on 10, and pulling away from the bunch, getting up towards the first three. Look at the gap that Sale's starting to pull now, the 30-year-old from Sydney that campaigned for quite a number of years and very well in Europe. Recently ran in the six-hour dirt bike race at the Theon. There he is. Down about three cogs and then slings it into Castrol Corner. And Osborne with a 17.69 for that lap would be about 1.1 seconds. Sorry. Yes, 1.1 seconds under Richard Scott's lap record of 1 minute 19. So he really is flying. And as you can see, Dowson getting up to second place than Hinton. And Sale coming along too. 17.69 with an average speed of 120.6 kilometres an hour. Hinton, Dowson, Sale. Behind Donny Osborne pulling away. Lap three of ten. Very quick and blind, the entry to this section of track. And look at the way Dowson's reigning in Hinton. Dowson not only won down in Tasmania, but had the fastest lap as well. Here he comes. Hard on the dogleg, and he's done it. Over the dogleg. What fantastic riding from Michael Dowson. Yes. Well, he's apex Tony right. Which was difficult going underneath on the entry of the corner. He should have been wide, but he made it. Now Jeffrey Sale comes up onto Tony Hidden's tail. Here comes Sale out of the slipstream, will go low. Hinton doesn't have an answer, but then comes back underneath him again. Sale, however, has got the line and takes it. And on the tail now of Michael Dowson, both of these end model Yamahas. Jeffrey Sale, the man who had a drive of Dick Johnson's Mustang here recently, 
and led Dick Johnson his 500cc bike. He reckons he got the better part of the deal. He was more at home in the Mustang than Dick Johnson was on a 500cc Yamaha. But just as Michael Dowson came off on Friday on a high-speed bend, Donny Osden, uh, no, it was Tony Hinton, also had a fall when the engine locked just after the bridge in the slow right-hand corner after the bridge. Two point one two seconds is the gap from first to this ice, the second place. And the sales bike less steady than Dowson's. You saw it shake its head at the apex of the dog leg there. It was pattering a bit too as he came down into Castrol. There's Donny Osborne in the left of your screen and behind him now come the battling duo for second place. Jeff Sale looking for the inside and does it on Dowson. Gee whiz on ferociously fast territory. Fastest corner on the track. Probably around 200 kilometres an hour. There's the gap, first through fourth position. Sale pulling away. Dowson perhaps with a problem. Seeming to hang on there. Jeffrey, in fact, I think is the one doing the pace because he's not only pulling away from Dowson, he's making ground on Osborne. There is only 1.6 1 1 seconds yeah. between the two of them. Just over a second and a half between first that man and second place Dowson. So he's 2.4 uh, of a second from him in just over a lap. Fifth place, a fair way back, Craig Morris on 21. Osborne really working the front end of that machine on new Avon tyres for this uh, round of the road racing title that have just been flown from Britain form for him. The front tyre intended to help him turn into the corner more, the back end to help the bike grip. More flexible in the sidewall, the rear tyre, so that it uh, absorbs bumps a little bit better, but still a selection of nine different carcass constructions front and rear so a lot of testing to be done to get the right combination for osmond the v-twin honda that he's on is of the type that's leading the world championship in the hands of freddie spencer but that's about all that can be said of the relationship because spencer's bike is both more powerful lighter and also more expensive it's about 10 kg lighter at 90 kg compared with this one at 100 and even the angles of the V and so on are different. A lap time of 1 minute 17.28 seconds on Donny Osborne. That's 1.32 seconds under the lap record. And Jeffrey Sale on him. Yes, and I've just got a 17.16 for Donny Osborne. That's 121.3 kilometres an hour average speed. So they are just carving chunks off the lap record. And as you say, Jeffrey Sale still after him. Great stuff. Jeffrey, back in the early days of the Castrol 6-hour, was, a, was a, a young novice rider riding the 250 class with older and more experienced brother Murray. But in between times, he sandwiched in an enormous amount of experience and success. Has three Australian and 12 state titles in his 12-year career. Dual Australian Grand Prix winner in the 250 and 350 class this year. along with a number, number of other 250s, was uh, ran beautifully in the 500 race. 0 0.21 of a second between first and second now. That's the gap over the dog leg. And look at Sale working that machine using every inch of the track. Point eight eight now. Donny Osborne here, not only in the presence of his 44-year-old father, who's won at Bathurst, but also of his grandfather, Norm, who was a, an Australian champion too. 
a 16.9 that lap for Don Osmond, 121.7 kilometres an hour average speed. The lap record till today stood at 119. And to get it even more in perspective, the 500cc lap record, that is twice the capacity, stands to Paul Lewis at a 116.4, so they're only 0.5 of the second off the outright. Or, or the absolute outright, Malcolm Campbell at a 15.3 on the superbike. This is very quick racing. Osborne stabilising the gap to a degree. But it's 0.46. Sail catching him. Oh, Brilliant look over stuff. the dog leg. Look at Sail ride the thing. They're on lap eight. And as you can see, they've just distanced themselves from the rest of the field. It's Osborne and Sail. As Osborne puts in a 16.93, a little bit slower this time. Third and fourth places are being held by Tony Hinton and Michael Dowson, who have about half a second between them, and they're about five seconds off this dice for first position between Jeff McNaughton and Donny Osborne. One and a half laps remaining. Don Osborne, third in Tasmania, has 10 points, failed none. Sale didn't start in Tasmania because the freight company misplaced his machine. It was supposed to have been uh, shipped over and it didn't arrive. He's still looking for it on race day. Here comes Sale now. Watch him over the dog leg. It will be a go for broke down into Castrol Corner under brakes. Casale is significantly quicker over the dog leg here and now into brakes. Can Sale do it? No. Donny Osmond, 23 years old, just two years in road racing, had previously raced not only in motocross, as they get the last lap flag, but sprint cars, and was set to go to America when a financial deal fell through and he came back to bikes. But only a couple of years of road racing experience compared with 30-year-old Jeff Sales, nearly, well, more than 10 years experience. The gap between third and fourth places opens out to about one and a half seconds. That's between Tony Hinton and Sale. Ranges inside, but Osborne has the corner covered. And where Sale was looking good, Osborne's starting to look now as though he's got it under control. He's obviously well aware of Sale. And fully guarded now for any move he might make. And about the only spot really is under brakes for yeah. the for Castrol corner. Sales on it! Sales on it just like that! Makes a double liar of me. <laughs> well, that's brilliant to get it in the entry to the S's there. And can the young boy come back, Donny Osmond? That was good psychology from Sales. I think he'd psyched Osmond into believing that the only challenge would come down here into Castrol Corner, and Osmond wasn't thinking in now, the earlier S's. Osmond going for everything, trying to be quicker through there and to gun it faster down the straight, but not really a chance and it's Jeffrey Sale wins the second round of the Australian 250cc road race championships from Donny Osmond who was third in the first round and in third place Tony, Tony Hinton, Hinton followed by Michael Dowson and the gap back to third place was eight and a quarter seconds and the race time was 12 minutes 58 seconds for an average speed of 120.2 kilometers an hour without any doubt a new lap record but for whom jeffrey sale on 10 or donny osmond on 18. Well, the early part of the race was desperate as Dowson was in the battle at that stage, fell back to fourth later. But here's Sale, really on the, the march. Running wire wheels, one of the few bikes in the field not to be on alloy wheels. And the results of the Toshiba 250cc Australian Road Race Championships round two at Oran Park. Jeffrey Sale on the Celastic Yamaha won it. 
brilliantly from Donny Osmond from Victoria on the Honda with Tony Hinton on the high-tech Rotex in third position. Jeff, congratulations. You absolutely burnt the track up out there. Tell us about that last manoeuvre, that last pass. <laughs> well, when I caught up the Donny with about two or three laps to go, um, I had to still keep going the same pace I was to stay with him because he was going pretty quick. And just the lap before, I noticed he was a little bit slow into that corner, so I thought I'd have to be close enough. Um, I dived underneath him, and as I got into the corner, I lost the front a little bit. But uh, fortunately enough, he didn't go past again. That was about the only place you could have taken him, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Most of the other parts of the track were uh, about even, so it was a do-or-die effort, and I got there. Were you conscious of the sort of speed you were doing out there today? No, oh, not really. Fast enough. Congratulations. Thank you.